right, Major Nelson. I want your reactions to yesterday's simulator flight exactly as you remember them. Now, uh, Major Nelson, wake up, Major. Oh. Dr. Bellas, what are you doing here, sir? This happens to be my office. Oh, of course it is. I'm sorry, sir. I, I didn't get much sleep last night. Oh, should we get started with the debriefing? Oh, fine. Now, according to paragraph 20... Major Nelson! Wake up! Tony! Tony! Are you in there? I've got to talk to you. Jeannie, is that you? Oh, it is terrible. My own sister, she's locked me in my bottle. Oh, now where is she? She's with my master. Oh, please help me. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, Roger will come to the rescue. Please hurry. Okay, here I come. Hi. Bye. Okay. I want to talk to you. What have you done with my master? Where is he? Oh, cool it, sis. We've got business to discuss. Master! Master! Oh, relax. He's at his little Dullsville job. Job is not Dullsville! I could make him the swingingest master going. You don't appreciate his potential. I like him the way he is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I see him in a white dinner jacket with a daiquiri in one hand and an expensive cigar in the other. Uh, I'm fine now, sir. Good. Now, if we... <laughs> what are you wearing? Wearing, sir? <laughs> with my uniform. <laughs> You, you want to change him. Well, my master and I are perfectly happy, and, and I, I think he looks handsome in his uniform. That's a uniform? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Major. Uh, for a moment, I could have sworn that you were wearing a dinner jacket and smoking a cigar. <laughs> I don't smoke, sir. <laughs> I didn't let you out of the bottle to argue with you. I've got it all figured out. You're going to take my place back in Baghdad, keeping old Ibn Grandpa supplied in limousines. I will do no such thing while I stay here and teach that gorgeous hunk of a sow's ear what life is all about. How dare you suggest such a thing? I... What makes you think I will allow you to steal my master? Oh, let's face it, sis. Your Major Nelson has jet-set potential, and you're a horse and buggy genie. He ought to have a string of ponies. May we get along with the debriefing, sir? <laughs> Major, put down that polo mallet. <clears throat> what polo mallet, sir? Don't make me get rough, sis. You like the old coot. He's, uh, just your style. Well, I would not trade my master for 50 sheiks. Oh, now, how do you know? You haven't even seen him yet. He can be pretty, uh, regal in his burnous and his flowing white robes. <laughs> do, uh, I look all right to you? Oh, fine, fine. Oh. A second ago, I... I thought you were standing over me with a polo mallet. Uh, look at my eyes. Do they look clouded or anything? No, sir, you look just the same. Almost. <laughs> Sis, if you feel that way about it. After all, I only want you to be happy. We are sisters, aren't we? A bientôt.